Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about the conditions of non-singularity because singularity versus non-singularity is a common feature of matrices. When it comes to calculation of inverse of a matrix, we need to know about the singularity or non-singularity of the matrix. Therefore, we need to understand the background of these conditions. Let, let's get started. As you can see, we have started with a system of equations. There are two equations in terms of x and y. And there they are. And when we write them in matrix form, we already know how to write a system of equations in matrix form. We'll be getting these three matrices. And then we have to find out the determinant of the coefficient matrix. When we find it out, it appears to be minus 7, which is not equal to 0. And our existing knowledge tells us that this is a non-singular matrix. Hai. So, now we will understand why we call it non-singular. Because these uh, lines, if I will plot it, I will be able to understand the background of it. So, what I am going to do after noting these um, solution values, I will come to the graph. And when I will go to the graph, you will see these lines will be intersecting each other. They will cut one point on the other side. And that is the point where the value of x ki value 5 and y value ki value 2. Hogi. But we have to give them certain names because of these properties. Because the answer we have seen is logical. Hai. We have a value of x and we have also a value of y. So therefore, we can say that Okay, the result is consistent because there is no logical contradiction in it. Secondly, we can say that okay, these two lines, these are independent because they are not uh, indistinct or in other words, they are distinct. And we can see clearly that these are two different separate lines intersecting only at one point. Let us see their graph. As you can see in this graph, we have two lines, the equations that we just saw, ye usi ki lines hai jo humne yaan par dekhi hai, aur inka intersection hume equilibrium dera hai, jo ke 5 hai on x axis aur 2 hai on y axis. So this is the case jise hum keh sakte hai ki consistent hai aur independent case hai. Now let's take another example, jis mein aap dekh sakte hai, again there are two equations, Unko humne matrix form mein likha aur extract kiya coefficient matrix ko aur uska humne determinant jo calculate kiya it, it is equal to 0. And now we know that it should be a singular matrix. But how actually it is a singular matrix? We shall see because jab hum iske roots nikalenge when we will solve them through algebra these two equations humare paas jawab clear nahi hai. They are in terms of the other variable. X ka jawab Y ki terms mein hai or y ka jawab x ki terms mein hai. So, this is not um, showing the distinct situation. This is showing an overlap. Or in other words, it is showing the dependence of these two lines. Therefore, we call this case a dependent case. Secondly, there is no logical contradiction. We can see these equations, these roots in terms of equations are not having any serious logical contradiction. These can be correct, but we don't have any precise answers. Therefore, we can say that this case is consistent. However, the bad news is that this is no solution because na x ki hamare paas ki value hai na y. Now, let us see their graph. The graph is showing actually the same line twice. Ye ek hi line dusri ke upar exists karti hai. जिसे हम कह सकते हैं कि ये coincident case है. Again, इसका जो solution है वो हर point पर है because हर point पर ये दोनों lines coincident है. Therefore, हम इसमें एक unique solution नहीं निकाल सकते, इसलिए ये undefined case है. Again, the matrix is now showing singularity because it is just like one line. There is singularity, there is no plural environment in it. Now let's take the final case in which we again have followed the same procedure. Aap isko dekhe aur isko rehearse kare because ye hum pichle slide mein kar chuke hain. 
اس کے ڈٹرمنٹ کا آنسر بھی زیرو ہے اور یہ یہی شو کرے گا کہ دیر ڈزنٹ اینی دیر ڈزنٹ ایگزٹ اینی آف دی اے ان ورس اینڈ دیٹ از ڈیو دیٹ از ٹرو بیکاز جو ہمارے پاس روٹس آ رہے ہیں اس کے اندر ویریبل نہیں ہے وی ہیو ٹو اینڈ اٹ از ایکول ٹو زیرو وچ از لاجیکلی کانٹراڈکٹری دیر فور ہم اس کیس کو انکنسٹنٹ کہیں گے سیکنڈلی جو ڈپینڈنس کی بات ہے ہم اس میں کہہ سکتے ہیں کہ دیز آر دس از دی انڈیپینڈنٹ کیس بیکاز ان دس کیس وی ہیو ٹو ڈسٹنکٹ لائنس بیکاز دیز آر ایکچولی پیرل لائنس جو ایک دوسرے کو کہیں پہ بھی نہیں کاٹ رہی دیر فور دیر از نو سولوشن Now, uh, as we have understood that there is no solution, let us see in the graph. As you can see, there are two parallel lines, there is no intersection, there is no solution, and definitely there is inconsistency because the roots, they are not giving any clear equality. So, let us summarize the conditions of singularity, if the non-singularity, if it is non-singular, The matrix has to be a square matrix with the rows are equal to columns. And secondly, what we have learned is the matrix of uh, the coefficients should yield a determinant which is not zero. And equation should be intersecting, as you have seen, it will not be coincident or not parallel. Ho. So, in this case, we have tried to understand the conditions for singularity versus conditions for non-singularity of matrix thank you